Wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right. I, I have sprung a surprise uh, interview here on Carol Bundy. Uh, Brian Hyde coming to you from the courthouse, and Carol Bundy is here. Well, Carol, I... This was this was quite a day, you know. Quite a day. The, the judge uh, declared a, a mistrial, and I just the first thing I want to ask you is, uh, what was your reaction on, on hearing the news? Well, at first it wasn't what we wanted to hear. Uh, what would you have preferred? I would pre I would have preferred to drop all charges and to let the man come home, uh, free man. I don't think they they haven't they haven't proven they haven't proven any guilt. In fact, she said that she went through all the violations that they did, mm -hmm. all the Brady violations that were wrong, and then she says, "However, um, I have to decide on if it's, if it's with prejudice or not prejudice." And for me, I sat there and I thought, you know, I want my my husband home for Christmas, and uh, but my husband stands on principle. My husband says, I will not trade one form of prison for another. I will walk out when I'm a free man, when I can do what I need to do. And I love you, sweetheart. If that's what you want to do, then Merry Christmas. Well, from, from my understanding, um, Ryan made the motion that, uh, that they would modify the, uh, the order regarding their pretrial release. And I've talked to a couple of the attorneys involved here. Uh, I've talked to Morgan Philpot. I've talked to uh, Maysoon Fletcher. And my understanding is that the, the wheels are turning. They can't get it. They can't get a straight answer, a definitive answer they just cannot. yet. They but, but it is a possibility. They're order, they, they're, the lawyers are all working right now in, in filing emer emergency motions to change so that so that Ammon can maybe come to the ranch with his family for Christmas and be with us. There's also an emergency file that, are, that my husband might be able to be released a free man. Um, and there's a there's a lot of people going on, and I got a lot of press here. And like I've said before, like press, where are you when we need you the most? You know, when we come when we came out day after day after day, there was no press. But now today we come out, and they're saying, "How are you feeling? What do you like about this?" And I'm going, "Where were you?" Okay, so I where have were a you? I have a follow up question for you okay. regarding the press. Um, have you seen? The press become um, less uh, sensational, less biased in their coverage. Have you seen um, a softening? Or... Depends on who it is. Okay. No, I, I understand. <laughs> I call them on the carpet all the time. It depends. It depends on who it is. But I, I, I do think that the press is shocked that they have been saying the Bundys are terrorists, the Bundys are this or the Bundys are that, and all at once the tables are being turned and we're seeing that the prosecutors are the ones that have lied. And I have said all along that the truth will set us free. Yep. I believe that, um, I know my family's innocent. And the truth will set us free, and it might be tomorrow, it might be next year, but they will be free. I think a lot of people are having the same experience um, that I've heard members of the press. You know, I've talked to just a couple of different members of the press who said, I had this idea of who the Bundys were until they met you, until they talked with you, until they had a chance to, to visit with Cliven or to visit with Ryan or Ammon. Um, and what they find is that your family was unfairly reduced to like a one-dimensional headline by people who didn't know you and didn't really care. They wanted clicks or they wanted ratings. And one thing I have to compliment you and your family on is you have maintained uh, a very positive and long-suffering attitude. Um, Ammon made the comment the other day, uh, we're not bitter, we're not angry, no. we're not filled with hatred, you know? And, and I, I've seen that in you as well. I don't know how you do it, but uh, well, I sure appreciate know, it. The thing of it is, is we are, we're educating America, we're educating the world, one day at a time, one minute at a time, and uh, we feel that that's what we're supposed to be doing. Well, I have to admit, as, as I was listening to the decision from the judge this morning in the courtroom, I cutting through the legalese and what, what all does this mean? I wasn't sure whether I was happy or sad or in between. <laughs> well, I have to tell you, I was in the car on the way because I'd had some things that I had to deal with at home. Uh -huh. So I was a little late getting here, and um, I was I was texting back and forth, and when it came a mistrial, I said, okay, with prejudice or without, and I was I was excited, and uh, then they said that she wasn't going to make that decision till January 8th. 8th. Yeah. Um, but it could change. Yeah. 
You know, well, one thing that is for sure, when you deal with the Bundys, <laughs> you never quite know what you're going to get. <laughs> what, something that, you might uh, get a tough steak, you might get a delicious steak, you might get really good. <laughs> so, something that uh, um, Maysoon Fletcher, who was the attorney who yes. was standing there at Ryan's side, as, as Ryan represented himself, uh, something that she had said to me, because I asked her, I said, okay, help me understand, with prejudice, without prejudice, if it is a mistrial with prejudice, that's almost that's the same as a dismissal. It's done. There's no there's no double jeopardy. They're not going to come back after him again. So she said, I'm very positive. She says this is this this can only be counted today as a win for the defense. I think it was huge. I think it was huge today that the judge sat there and read off all the um, violations that yeah. the prosecutions had done, and the prosecutors were actually at the ranch. So they have no right to be at the ranch. They become then witnesses, and now they're the prosecutors sitting on the stand. Yeah. I think the judge sees that. I think she knows that. I, I just wait for the day that I that they come home, and it's going to be, it's going to be soon. Well, the prosecution had its feet held to the fire. Um, there's there's a lot of, uh, I think. Uh, rightful celebration going on here. And I'm looking forward, Carol. We're going to be celebrating again when, when Cliven comes home. I we hope are. it's before I, Christmas. <laughs> I do too, but um, all, all in the Lord's time. Okay. Thank you so much for Thank visiting you. with us. Thank you. We will uh, we'll be talking to more of the Bundy family. You, They've obviously been mobbed by the press, and so I've just kind of been waiting my turn. But we will have more of our updates coming up and get more reactions from Ryan, from Ammon, and others uh, here on Who's Next. Please continue to follow us. Please continue to share this far and wide.